welcome to this special edition of Supermicro's Tech Talk series. My name is Peter Rutten, and I am IDC's Global Research Lead on Performance Intensive Computing Solutions and Use Cases. And um, I am very excited to be joined by Josh Grossman from Supermicro's GPU team to discuss Supermicro's recently announced universal GPU system. Hi, Josh. Hi, Peter. It's great to see you. Good to see you. Um, could you briefly tell us uh, about the system that we have here today? Sure, thanks uh, for asking. So this is something we're really excited about. It's our universal GPU system, um, and it's gonna support the AMD EPIC processors, uh, version three, as well as the AMD MI200 series GPUs and the OAM form factor. Um, but it will be able to support a variety of different processor and GPU combinations. And it's modular, it's got tremendous thermal capabilities, so it's completely air-cooled, but it's also plumb uh, for liquid cooling if we need it. So it's something that we think is really going to be a breakthrough, and it allows our customers to uh, effectively standardize on one system for their entire data center for their GPU needs. That's great. I like the uh, both air-cooled and liquid-cooled if needed. That gives, gives them a lot of flexibility. Um, so most people probably know that Supermicro already has a broad GPU system portfolio. Um, so why the need for this system? Well, I think the, the real need for it is that it allows us to effectively double our GPU portfolio because this will support, as I mentioned, we've got the um, OAM cards supporting the OAM and UBB standards. But in addition to that, you can put in other cards um, proprietary cards or other baseboard solutions. It also supports PCIe. So what that does is it allows for our customers, again, to have one box that they can sort of standardize on on their data centers, and it offers them a tremendous amount of flexibility. So kind of in a nutshell, like I said, this really doubles the capacity of our, our GPU product line, and it also is a, a 4U box, which we think is interesting because we can get all that into a relatively small 4U form factor with up to eight GPUs. Right. Um, so you've used this word a couple of times and I'm kind of intrigued. Um, tell us a little bit more about this universal aspect of the system. Yeah, let's look under the hood a little bit. So what I just removed are 10 uh, NVMe drives that are two and a half inch and they, we also support uh, SATA SAS. So that's something that's universal in terms of whatever storage needs you might have. As we look at the baseboard, these are the MI250 uh, series GPU processors, and these, these are just amazing in terms of what they provide. It's 128 gigabytes of GBME memory, and it also allows 800 gigabytes per second communication between the nodes. So it's really an amazing workhorse. And as I said, we can, you can support these with other baseboards, either in the OAM4 factor, or you can use proprietary baseboards something uh, like SXM, for example. Um, in addition to that, as we pull off this cowling air cooling hood, you can see we've got the two uh, third generation AMD EPIC processors. Of course, we can also support different uh, processors as well. So this is the first iteration. And then you can see there's 32 DIMM slots. So it's universal both in terms of the number of different processors and GPUs it supports, and also the kind of future pr proofing, if you will, uh, that provides so much headroom. So if you needed um, you know, to have eight GPUs, you could go with the PCIe form factor and have eight GPUs with one uh, high-speed NIC card for each GPU to allow just a whole variety of, uh, of different use cases. And we're seeing that a lot in the marketplace. Ah, it's very versatile. Um, I like that a lot. Okay. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the types of deployments that, um, that this system is suited for? So the initial uh, deployments we're seeing are mostly in the uh, HPC space. So you're familiar, I'm sure, with the large labs, our large national labs that are doing so much work on things like COVID and modeling uh, thermal events and so forth and the uh, global warming and so forth. So in addition to those, what we're seeing is this is kind of uh, coming down to at the university level. So not the giant bespoke HPC installations, but more at the university level. They're, they're able to take care of the tremendous take advantage of the tremendous horsepower, essentially, that these offer. So we're seeing it there, and we're also seeing it in the AI space. So um, 
one of the interesting things is also the verticals. And we're seeing a lot of mixing and matching of hardware and software stacks. So there's lots of uh, specific implementations for specific industries that we might have not even been aware of. But because of the flexibility for this, it really gives them an opportunity to perfect and hone in on exactly what they need. Because frankly, in, a lot, in most cases, the customers know more about exactly what they need when, than we do. And so, but this gives them kind of a palette in order to design their perfect implementation. Right, right. And I like that you mentioned AI there because I, I, I think we both know that AI is coming right on the heels of uh, HPC for these kinds of uh, systems. We're seeing that more and more for sure. Um, so thank you for sharing this, um, this great information about the, your, your, your latest CPU system with us today um, and their applications for HPC and AI. Um, is there anything that uh, I haven't asked that you uh, want to share uh, with the viewers? No, I think we covered it, primarily the fact that you're able to mix and match, and we're seeing that, like I said, a lot in the marketplace as a trend, mixing specific GPUs with specific processors, with perhaps even a specific memory config or a NIC card, and we can support all of that. You can standardize the, on this. And then also, just, uh, you know, we, there's going to be a whole variety of these coming out in different platforms that are supported in terms of different baseboards and so forth. So uh, please, you know, stay in touch for anybody out there that's uh, listening, we'd love to hear from you, and we're really excited about this. We think it's a really uh, kind of a milestone, if you will, uh, both for us as a company and for what's happening in the GPU space. So we're excited. So stay tuned for more exciting news. Sounds great. I look forward to hearing more, Josh. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to see you. Learn more at supermicro.com forward slash HPC.